Hi everyone and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new here, I would love for you to pop in the comments and say hi. Today I'm going to be participating in the Look for Less challenge and this challenge is hosted by Yami from the channel The Latina Next Door. And this is a challenge where basically you take a high-end home decor piece and try and recreate it for less. And each month she has a different co-host and this month's co-host is my dear friend Natalie from the channel Design to the Nines. They both have amazing channels and the stuff that they create and DIY and put together is just absolutely beautiful. So if you haven't checked them out, be sure to do so after you're done with my video. I will also have a link to the playlist listed in my description box. So on to my project. I decided to recreate this planter set from Anthropology. It's actually one that my daughter picked out and this is originally $98 or on their website it says that you could do four interest-free installments of $24.50 <laughs> which seems crazy to me for a planter set. So I thought for sure that we could recreate it for much, much less. And here are the dimensions that they have on their website. We changed it up just a little bit because um, we wanted it just a little bit shorter. So basically we started with a piece of cedar and my husband cut it down to size and he did most, no, he did all of the cutting. So after, so after cutting the base and the pieces for the legs, we took that inside and did some figuring. We were trying to figure out where we wanted the pots to be before he drilled the holes and cut them out. So we just marked where the legs were going to end up and then just did some figuring, <laughs> as you can see here, where we wanted the pots and then just measured them and marked them. And then my husband took it outside in the garage and first he drilled a hole so that he would have a spot to put the blade <laughs> for the saw. Now this saw is one that I just I'm no good at. I love using power tools and <laughs> usually I do but for some reason this one we just don't get along. <laughs> so my husband said he was happy to help me with this and the blade did jump around a little bit so he wasn't totally happy with um, how it turned out but I was happy with it because once you put the pots in you can't see it. So after he cut the holes, we took the pieces for the legs and um, glued them together and clamped them. And then after those dried, we took the legs and glued them to the base and then clamped them and let them dry overnight. And then in the morning, after everything had dried, I just took some sandpaper and sanded down the edges and all the little burr pieces and the excess wood glue that kind of poured out. We tried to wipe it off, but we didn't get all of it, So, but that's nothing a little sanding won't take care of. And I know the little piece of sandpaper that I'm using is for a hand sander, but it's what I had on hand, so I just went ahead and used it and it worked fine. If we were to do it again, we would fix the legs a little bit so that 
Um, there wasn't such a gap, but I'm still really happy with it. So then I took some acrylic paint and chalk paint and mixed together some colors to um, best match what I could to the website picture. And then I did each pot with two coats in the green, blue, and rose color. And these pots, I don't know if I mentioned, were from the dollar store and they were a four pack for one dollar and the wood I already had from my mom and dad but if you were to buy that I believe it would be you know ten to twelve dollars so still a heck of a lot cheaper than ninety eight dollars and I know the anthropology piece is probably very well made and you know the pots are ceramic and stuff but it's kind of fun to try and recreate it and see what we can come up with. And you want to make sure when painting the pots that you do um, the inside kind of far down so that when you put the plants and the dirt in, you won't see the gray from the pots. And then after the two coats had dried, this is what they look like. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's going to look so pretty. I plan on putting it in our little window between our kitchen and our sunroom. So I hope you guys like it. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so that you get notified of all the videos that I put up and anything that I put out there. Don't forget to head on over to Yami and Natalie's channel. I will have them in my description box. And check out the playlist that I will also have in the description box. And if you're new here, hi and welcome to my YouTube family. Thanks so much for all your love and support and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!